hello welcome back um firstly the giveaway that i did last week i had amazing response thank you you guys showed so much love and uh, it's so nice to be back and uh, your support means the world to me thank you for this video i'm teaming up with my good friend jasmine siddiqui she's from bombay she has uh, she has an art and craft store called craftily connect next few months i am going to be teaming up with her and showcasing products from her store i've been buying from jasmine from 2015 she came over to bangalore she she came over to uh meet me and we did a, a workshop together uh, and uh, and we've been good friends ever since she's an amazing person her her service is fantastic um the customer service is fantastic there's an alarm going off somewhere sorry um we don't have an alarm clock in this house that is not my house anyway she has amazing products she brings in the best uh, and the newest supplies art, art and craft supplies she's very easy uh, to talk to and she's very easy she's very approachable so as a customer as a consumer you can call her um, you can call her any time of the day and uh, she's available don't call her any time of the day um i meant she's um <laughs> i mean she's very um approachable and she will answer your queries um immediately and um uh i like that personal touch um to be honest and um if you have requests on new supplies if you have uh, a wish list and um, you can share it with her and she tries and um brings them in her store so that's that's really really good um um she does custom work as well so uh do check her out uh her name is Jasmine Sitiki and her store is Craftily Connect um she is based out of Bombay but she also has another uh, she but she also has a store in Bangalore um and they deliver pan india and uh, maybe internationally as well i don't know but i'll um I will um check with her and leave that in the uh, notes section. Uh for the first uh video I wanted to try uh decoupage on fabric. Now I have um a lot of people have asked me um and I have been meaning to try decoupage on fabric for a very long time now. Um I have just had too much fun <laughs> working with glass and 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 wood um that i've just not had the time to experiment uh, on other surfaces but uh jasmine uh has sent me ceramic and she sent me uh faux leather and uh fabric um and these three are very new surfaces for me um and i'm uh over the next couple of weeks month or so i will be experimenting with these mediums and uh i wanted to take you along So the first uh video today recovering fabric. Let me show you what I have. I'll be trying uh I don't know two or three of these uh today. Um uh, maybe maybe two. Uh maybe three would be a very lengthy video. So she sent me these fabric pouches. Um it's about this long. This is a marker. Um this fits really well oh, um so this can be used as your art supplies um you know your basic uh, stationery um this one is slightly bigger i'm thinking this can be a makeup pouch i know nothing about makeup uh as you can see <laughs> but um so i will definitely be using this as uh this for my stationery as well uh the other one is a bag a tote bag uh and it has a nice handle now i love that it has a nice handle because i'm a big girl and a lot of these totes uh they just don't fit my i don't know how that is they just don't sit on my shoulder so i love this i will definitely be using this 
Um, so for today's project, uh, we'll work on both this bag and one of these pouches. Um, I will let you know. I'll do this video now and I'll use these bags personally and uh, maybe do a follow up video in a few months and let you know um, how they're holding up. Okay, so let's get started. Thinking, you know how I said I will work on the bag and one of these, but I think because I'm uh, experimenting for the first time, I should try a smaller base and then go to the bigger one. So maybe I'll divide this video into two parts. I will do the first part with uh, with experiments on these two small pouches and maybe in the next cup, uh, couple of months I will work on the bigger fabric uh, tote bag. These are pretty uh, light in color. Um, I might not need gesso. But, uh, We'll see if there's a difference. So I was thinking maybe on one of these I will apply gesso and uh, On this we will use it as it is. Okay, maybe for the smaller one. I will work uh, I will use gesso and for the bigger pouch. We'll work on it as it is I'm using gesso by Camlin I never know what to say. Is this camel or camlin? I don't know. It says camel here, but I don't know why I always uh, refer to this refer to it as camlin since we were kids. Remember, with gesso, a little goes a long way. So uh, I'm thinking that should be a good amount. What I'm doing is. I will just, um, I'm just putting in uh, a plastic sheet just to avoid the gesso seeping in. Um, I'm going to use a piece of sponge. If you have dabbers, you could use that. Uh, you could also use uh, a brush. All right. Thin, even coats. I don't know if the gesso will stiffen the fabric, it might. Okay, there's no seepage happening. I'm just gonna add gesso on this, maybe dry it and add gesso on that and I'll be back. Finished gesso, applying gesso on this side. It doesn't feel very stiff, but it is it is pretty wet. I think I have over, overdid gesso on this side. We'll see. I'm gonna set this aside. And while that dries, uh, we'll work on this pouch. I picked up two napkins. I thought um, the bigger one will go on this and I could try the smaller one on that. Let me start off with this. I'm going to use acrylic gel medium to stick the napkin onto the fabric. Uh, you could use Mod Podge or any other decoupage glue on hand. I love working with gel medium, so I'm going to try um, using gel medium. Fabric is pretty coarse and it is eating up more medium than uh, my usual surfaces like uh, MDF ceramic or glass. Um, so I think we might have to be generous with uh, varnish, gesso and glue. I'm going to use a flat brush. The size is around 8 and this one is 5. I will also tear the bottom and the sides. I don't want the sharp. I don't want the sharp edge on any way, on any side. I want them all to be a soft hand tone edge like this. So I'm just gonna tear them all and 
start off. All right. First step, peel off the extra plies. The napkins I use are generally, oh, no nails. The napkins I use are generally three ply. So that's two extra ply that we don't need. And the top printed ply is what we'll be working on. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. The two ply are actually stuck together. That's fine. All right, we'll save this. The beige actually works. The base of this napkin is that creamy beige. Um, I just hope that it doesn't darken too much after we apply the glue, we'll see. So what I'll do is I paint in small sections. I will place this in place where I want it. I will lift up and work in small areas. This I don't apply just I don't apply glue all over and then press down the napkin. Um, it it work, doesn't work for me. I you could do that. That's a fast and easier process. I apply glue in small sections and that gives me better control. I want a little hanging off the edge so I could tuck it in, um, and then we'll start. Yeah, the fabric is drinking up the gel medium. I might have to work uh, quickly. The fabric was very soft, um, and I, I, I think I'll get a better grip with uh, with those empty paper envelopes um, inside. These were just pretty. These are thick, standard cardstock size, maybe say one sixty to two hundred gsm, and uh, I will continue. I think I ended up tearing the napkin that I didn't quite realize. It looks good. I'm just gonna finish up and and show you what it looks like. Let me see if the camera will pick this up. I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, there definitely are a lot of fine wrinkles and uh, I did have some tears. I had a tear here. I didn't notice this. I I had it here, here and I think that's about it but definitely a lot of to be honest I think I'm a little rusty I've not touched a brush in over a year um, and I'm <laughs> actually pretty impressed that I could get this far I genuinely thought I'd forgotten how to um, decoupage or paint um, this is pretty good I We'll see, uh, let me check if I can, uh, when I varnish on the top, if the wrinkles will settle. Or even otherwise, I think uh, they're pretty negligible. Um, and because this is a fabric and it's pretty soft, it's not a flat surface, um, I think um, these little bits of wrinkles are acceptable. Uh, all right, so what I've done is I have glued up, up until there. Um, I will, take the brush and I'll just seal uh, the edges this I'll probably stop there kind of um, seal in um, and I'll tear off this bit and seal there as well and uh, on I'll give a top coat of the same gel medium I'm thinking I might give two coats of gel medium just uh, because I plan on using these uh, and I don't want it to wear and tear
these will make really pretty earrings. I always save uh, small bits of pretty paper. It's so pretty, you can't throw it out. This is what it's looking like. Oh, I did have another tear there. Um, and this area is pretty wrinkly. This was the end and uh, maybe I lost patience. Maybe, um, maybe it was a lost cause. I don't know. Uh, this area I'm not very happy about, but otherwise it uh, looks pretty good. I will let this dry and come back and work on this in, this side just the same way. This is not completely dry, uh, it's about 80% dry, uh, but you can see that it has kind of dulled down compared to the original napkin. Do you see the difference? If um, I'm very sure that uh, on the gessoed, um, gessoed fabric uh, the color would have remained the same this is one of the main reasons i always uh, use a base coat on my surfaces before using napkins this doesn't look bad on its own um, of course i know what the original looked like which is why i feel this is a bit dull but um, on its own it looks pretty pretty cool if this was a darker napkin, maybe this would have entirely dulled down even more. Alright, I will put this aside. Once this is completely dry, I will work on the other side. But for now, I will leave this, um, leave it aside to dry and I will work on this fabric. Uh, I will work on this pouch. Um, it's still slightly wet so what I'll do is I will use a heat gun on this this is about 95% dry there were just small areas that weren't completely dry um, I just wanted to make sure it's completely dry before I apply glue this is pretty dry it is this is pretty dry um and it doesn't feel very stiff this is the original fabric uh, and this is the gesso side yeah it doesn't feel stiff at all that's a good thing um i'm planning on using this napkin for the oh look how cute that'll look all right um the the napkins again are from craftily connect by jasmine i will leave a link to the supplies in the description box below uh do check it out she, i bought these a while ago she might not have the exact same ones uh but you could request um her to let you know when she has this design and uh or ask her to bring them for you even uh, the brand is extremely helpful that way same thing i have my brush i will get some gel medium and uh, i'll follow the same process that i did for the other napkin now that i've applied gesso on this it might the the fabric might not be as coarse po sorry the fabric might not be as porous as the previous fabric. I'm thinking a uh, lesser gel medium will work. We'll see how that goes. I might want to put something in here as well. I'll be back. Okay, yeah, this will help.
I will have a lot of wrinkles like the previous napkin I can just tell but uh, I'm not very bothered about it to be honest okay these are done I have um, I worked on the other sides in the night this is the one that I worked um, the thing with not working with daylight uh, working with artificial light is everything looks really really good this looked fantastic in the night but in the morning, I can see that it has a lot of wrinkles. Let me see if it, the camera will pick it up. Um, but overall, this side is much better than this. You can see here, I had a lot of tears. Um, I was working a little too fast. And to be honest, I uh, was not working uh, fully with my method. I was just being, I was just rushing through. And I was a little rusty. The second side I think is definitely better. Um, let's see if the camera picks that up. The edges are pretty well done as well. The only thing is I have a, a bit of a gap at the bottom. Ideally I would paint this with acrylic paints. Uh, but for this project, I'm just going to let it be, um, I'm just going to ignore that. It's just a small uh, patch and I can live with that. This was a more uh, finished, as in it, didn't, it doesn't have any um, blank spaces that I needed to cover. This napkin is so cute. I might have just taken a marker and finished off any areas that uh, needed work. Um, for this pouch especially, I did not want to use acrylic paints or any other kind of paints to um, on the product. I wanted just napkin to see how it feels. On the other tote bag, I promise to use a lot of other mediums and experiments so you can so you can learn along with me. not cracking looks really nice there you go looks good I will now apply a layer of um, 
varnish i usually don't work out of the main jar i pour some i pour some into another glass uh, jar and i close it tight oh. dust okay uh, i haven't used this in a, <laughs> in a long time um i usually pour some out into another airtight jar i use about that much um enough i just pour out enough varnish to last me a couple of projects and then i keep refilling i usually wash this out before i refill so varnish what i do is i apply very thin um very thin layer a very thin coat with a flat brush and uh, leave it to dry for a couple of days i will then turn it around and do the same on the other side uh, make sure to let it dry for at least two days before i start using it you could give it two coats uh, just so it's durable i am only giving it one coat each one coat of gel medium on the top and one coat of aquador um, and we'll see how this lasts my go-to is the aquador wood based varnish i know this is um i know this is wood based um, and it's mostly used on furniture but I've used that on a lot of surfaces and it has given me fantastic results I've tried it on um, wood I've tried of course wood um, ceramic terracotta metal um, glass of course I've done decoupage with fabric and uh, the varnish has worked very well in that case as well however I'm uh, however I plan on trying different varnishes that are out in the market um, in my upcoming projects um, i will start experimenting with them and uh, compare them with ecuador and uh, let you know my thoughts the pouches are looking absolutely adorable i have filled them up with my journaling and sketching supplies i will be carrying these in my bag wherever i go and uh, we'll see how they fare how long they last um, and uh, if there's a lot of wear and tear, um, I will let you know. I'll let you. I'll give you an update. Um, that's it for today's video. Please subscribe and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've liked and enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll be back soon. Bye bye.